By who has our message been believed? God revealed his arm, but who perceived? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, out of the parched ground like a root. He had no stately form or majesty that we should look on him admirably. He had no appearance for us to see that we'd be captured visually. He was despised and by men forsaken, a man of sorrows. The hand of grief he has shaken, and like one from whom men hide their face, he was despised, with no esteem, disgraced. Surely our grief he himself bore. As for sorrows, it was for us they were carried for. Yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, afflicted, and by the hand of God smitten. But for our transgressions he was pierced through. For our iniquities he was crushed too. It was on him that the chastening for our well-being fell, and by his scourging that we were made well. All of us like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned his own way. But as for all of our rebellious sin, he has caused it to fall on him. He was oppressed and was afflicted. All speech from his mouth was restricted. Like a lamb led to slaughter, or a sheep before shears, he didn't open his mouth. No words could you hear. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. There was not one consideration from the generation of his day that he was cut off from the land of the living for the sins of my people, to whom the stroke should have been given. His grave was assigned, and with wicked men he would lie. But he was with a rich man the hour that he did die. Never had his hands shed blood or done any violent act, nor from his lips had he ever any deceit in act. But the Lord was pleased to crush him and cause him such pain. If he would present himself freely, a guilt offering would be gained. He will see his offspring and his days God prolong and the good will of the Lord will prosper in his palms. As a result of the anguish of his soul, he will see the light of life and be satisfied in whole. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and surely he will bear the multitude of their iniquity. Therefore, a portion among the great I allot for him to abide, and with the strong, the spoils he will divide, because he poured out his life and welcomed death in, and was numbered among those with the greatest sin. He carried the weight of man's transgressions and made for the transgressor intercessions.